Okay, we have some lint here, guys. We have some lint past my collarbone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> past my collarbone. We have some lint, really. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I did this hairstyle right here. Many of you guys thought that it was my actual real hair in like previous videos that I had it in because that was the aim. I wanted it to look like my natural hair and that's what I did. But I, the last time I did it, I had like a full 360 leave out, but this time I'm not going to do a full 360 leave out. I'm just going to do the front and the middle, which I kind of already started right here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take a lot of hair. So I already have this section parted out right here. And instead of going like this i'm just gonna have it curved because i also want this one whatever here i'm leaving out to fall back on whatever track i'm passing through here and i'm gonna also have the center part in the middle but based on how long or far back you want your center part to go you should go a little bit farther than where you want the center part to be so i'm just gonna wrap this up right here and for the front now what i did last time i did like straight like i did straight lines going all around but this time i'm not gonna do that i'm kind of i'm gonna kind of make it a little bit messy i want it to be like not uniform you know like a zigzag form so if you want you can use your comb but i'm just gonna use my finger and do that and that should be fine right here i think i'm gonna add some more so now that we have our pieces at the front secured what i'm gonna do next is just braid all the way back cane or carne or whatever all the way back <laughs> I'm just gonna finish the rest of my head and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm actually doing the sewing. So I have my clean bundles right here. I wash them. So since I actually want to accommodate when I do a high ponytail or anything, I'm gonna try to sew the bundles underneath this thing going on right here. And I'm gonna sew through the weft. So it has more of a little bit it has more of a it has more stability per se so i'm just gonna go through the weft and under the braid through the weft and under the braid And for the back, you don't really have to take up that much of the braid when you're going underneath it. You just need to take up enough so it has something to hold on to. And please know that I'm using a curved needle, which is the right needle, not just any needle. now that i am ready to like bend it i'm gonna make sure that the bend is flat i'm gonna make sure that the weft is not on top of itself i'm gonna make sure that it's flat on the braid and then sew it down on the braid and go across because you don't want it to be bulky so any opportunity to not make it bulky that's what we're gonna do that's the part we're gonna take so just gonna do that 
and like I said, through the whip, under the braids. Okay, so now I finished one bundle. This is it, and you see, you can hardly see the bump right there, which is what we want. And now that everything is leveled, now that it's all leveled, what I'm gonna do now is get the other bundle and just continue going up. Okay, so I'm back and my hair looks big and puffy, but we're gonna start it out, but not tonight because it's late and I wanna go to bed. So what I'm gonna just do is sort out the leave out and what, what I did last time when I had it in, I just did like a regular wash and go style, leaving damp hair gel moisturizer that's it to like let it blend in with this but this time i'm gonna do all that plus i'm gonna twist it just to see how it will come out just to see and then i go from there but to like define this i'm not gonna do it tonight because i don't want to go to bed with wet hair so this is gonna be done in the morning when i am getting ready i got the bumble and bumble bb curl defining cream bumble and bumble bb curl reactivator so i'm gonna use both of these in conjunction with my extreme wetline gel this is my go-to and yeah i have my spray bottle here and i'm just gonna get started okay so i went ahead and cleanse shampooed my leave out and my hair is actually feeling a little bit better well not a little bit much better and you can actually see the difference which i'm really not mad at honestly my hair is kind of a little bit more defined so it won't be harder for the products to penetrate the strands so as i was saying i am first since my hair is wet damp i'm not gonna get the spray bottle but i'm gonna use the curl reactivator
Let's do it.